Hi guys, I got a desktop computer to fix from one of my friends. It doesn't start, the monitor keeps black screen. The hard disk drive sounds like trying to run, but it, it doesn't. And I want to show you the following thing. Pay attention to it. It's a very strong spark. Let's see what is going on here. The seal is broke and the original fan has been removed. What we see here is an adaptation, a smaller fan and all the yellow stuff around is glue. Somebody glue a fan to adapt it. Okay, the first thing I have to check here is the power supply. There is a problem here in the printed circuit board in the power supply. If you pay attention, the solder around this lead is broken. Let's pay attention to the, follow the following picture. Behind it, there is one of the main capacitors. So, I will have to fix that. Before fixing that, I'm going to remove the radiators and test the transistors and the diodes in the power supply. Once that I'm done with it, I will make a little inspection in the places that they touch the ground as common place just to make sure that there is not a, a current leaking to the chassis. And next step will be to try to find the, uh, the fan for this kind of a power supply to put it in the right shape. The first thing we must do before doing any test is to get the technical information for each one of the components we are trying to test. Then we know with what are we dealing with. The first electronic component is a Schottky diode. It has a common cathode and the anodes on the sides. The second is the same thing and the third also a Schottky diode. They have different technical specifications and different values for internal operation. In the next radiator I got an two NPN transistors with the leads, base, collector and emitter in the order I said. For the last one is the MOSFET transistor with N channel and the leads in its order is gate first drain in the center and the third is the source. Now that we know what they are, they are Schottky diodes, those three guys, the next once there are two transistors, NPN, and the last one is a MOSFET transistor, the kind of N. So, with common anode, I will put the positive in the cathodes and I will see the voltage drop for a Chodky diode that is very low, lower than a silicon transistor that could be about 0.6. I will invert the polarity 
and I must see nothing there. Same thing here. Uh -huh. It's good, it's good. Inverting nothing is good. Same thing here. Good, good. Inverting nothing, good. All those guys, they are good. For the MPN transistor, I must place the positive in the base, and I will see base 2 collector. There is a voltage drop like a silicon diode. The base 2 emitter is always a higher voltage drop than the base 2 collector. Base 2 collector, base 2 emitter. That's the way that we identify the emitter. Same thing here, base 2 collector, higher voltage drop in base 2 emitter. I will invert the polarity just to make sure everything is okay. I will test collector 2 emitter in this kind of diodes. We saw in the technical specifications that there is not any kind of diode connected there. Mm -hmm. Perfect. The last guy is a um, MOSFET and it is a gate drain source. I will place my negative in the source, the positive in the drain. There is conduction there. I will touch the gate with the negative. There is not conduction. I will switch it on by touching the gate with a positive. I will come back here and it's conduction. What is hard to see in the camera is one of the main capacitors is not uh, flat in the top. As we can see here, there is a big curve it's not a straight line and what happened here is the radiator was touching the capacitor and was transferring the heat from here to there and let's remember capacitors they are sensitive to the heat all uh, these ones I guess they are like uh, 105 degrees when you got the heat from the radiator it tries to explode. So now I have to replace one of the main capacitors. I will continue with the test around um, something from my video about capacitors. We can appreciate it here. This guy is flat in the top, but this they are not. So I have to replace these other two capacitors and later just make a fast testing of all the other devices no one is overheating or smoke it and continue with the computer fixing now that the switching power supply has been fixed there is not any spark the monitor is on the desktop too but there is no fire so just with balancing the power supply with the two main capacitors working the problem is gone Also, I got troubles here, I was getting blue screen. Because the virus, I had to fix the software. And I didn't make the video about fixing the monitor before to start this video. 
but it's already fixed too.